Hi, this video is designed to help people understand what PWM is and how to use it in Swordfish. So I've downloaded the, uh, the user library called pwm.bas and I've saved it into my user library folder and now I can access all of the, uh, the commands and features of, of the library. So to start off with, I'm declaring duty as a byte and setting the frequency to 5 kilohertz. Uh, this could be any value depending on what you're using to switch your device. This could be a little bit fast for some things, but uh, anything over 50 hertz, even 100 hertz, uh, somewhere around there, is going to look pretty fluent to the human eye. From here, just setting up an infinite loop while true. It's like writing while one equals one, and I'm going to reset the duty uh, value. And then there's two loops. These are the, uh, the the prominent part of the program. This first loop is going to uh, set the duty percent to whatever duty is it'll start off at zero then it'll increment duty delay for 25 milliseconds and check if duty is over 100 and it'll keep doing so until this condition reaches true then it'll go to the next uh, loop and it'll simply do the opposite it's going to dec decrement down to duty equals zero so what's the end, end result is going to be a uh, two and a half second uh, time frame to go from 0 to 100 and then two and a half seconds to go from uh, 100 to 0 and so over that five second period of time it's going to fluctuate all the way through so I'll switch over now and show, show you it working in real life in this example I'm going to be explaining how to use PWM on a set of uh, LEDs in this case I've got uh, 12 10 mil LEDs they're all going to be driven in uh, parallel. It's, these wires are connected each each uh, array into parallel. And I'm going to use PWM to control the brightness of the LEDs. PWM is handy to use in a lot of applications, whether it's um, simple DAC, digital analog conversions, uh, controlling the speed of DC motors, uh, anything to do with the average, the average current um, or average voltage in some cases, because you can control the frequency and the duty cycle of the signal. So anything over uh, 50 hertz, even 25 hertz, uh, is almost impervious to the human eye to see the flicker. Uh, and going up even further uh, to get more of a fluent range, say about 400 hertz to a kilohertz. Now the on and off part is called duty cycle. So the on time compared to the off time is the duty percent. In this case, uh, in the program I've written for these, I'm just going to vary it from 0% up to 100% and then back down to 0%. And that's going to occur, uh, well, it's going to take five seconds per whole cycle. So I'm going to start building the circuit. Everything else, all these components have been uh, talked about in other tutorials, but this one has an, it's a MOSFET, it's a logic MOSFET. And keep in mind that logic MOSFETs or all MOSFETs are very susceptible to static damage. So if it's, if it's a, uh, if you live in a cold area with dry air, just be aware that you could damage one of these. I personally haven't da damaged one, uh, tap wood, but uh, you can damage them quite easily. Okay, so I'm going to start building my circuit and then I'll load the program and get it going. As you can tell, I had a little bit of an issue there. I uh, forgot about the PWM pins and how, for some unknown reason, Microchip decided to swap the uh, uh, PWM output one and PWM output two so that they were uh, 
not in a um, a normal linear fashion on the on the board. So now that I've adjusted that error, uh, you can see the program is working as intended. It's probably a, a, a bit glary on the camera. Uh, as you can see, the brightness is being uh, buried uh, at a constant rate, going up to 100% and then down to 0%, and then it's just going through an infinite loop and continuing to do so. My MOSFET is turning on and off as fast as the program is, is asking it to, and it's logic powered, so it doesn't need a, a very high uh, voltage to turn on. Because this is an N channel FET, I can only turn on and off in Earth, if I wanted to uh, turn on and off the supply, then I'd use a P-channel FET. And just an easy way for, to remember that is you need an N to switch negative and a P to switch positive. So yeah, this is PWM, and imagine this on a scale of controlling DC motors, uh, where you can control the speed from, say, 0% up to 100% drive uh, through a MOSFET or a Darlington array or something like that. Anything with high current capabil capabilities or even uh, for infrared uh, with 38 kilohertz modulated signals. Just set up your uh, your PWM output so it's uh, 38 kilohertz and gate it on and off with an with an AND gate or or buffer it in some way in the software so that you can uh, turn on and off this modulated signal. Anyway, hopefully this has helped somebody out. And yeah, thanks for watching.